It's a nine-letter word, and the clue is, he's got a lot to learn. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. Scrabble, it's a television version of everybody's favorite game, and we're back. It's only been about three years, but it's good to be back. It's nice to be back with you. We've missed you. Hope you enjoy today's show. Charlie's got our first two players, and he's going to introduce them right now. Charlie? She's very healthy. He's a production administrator. From Venice Beach, California, Deb Howard. And from Los Angeles, George Seeley. All right. Nice to see you both. Nice to have you with us. How are you, Deb? I'm just fine, thanks. Yeah, tell me about yourself. Well, my dad was a naval aviator, so I moved around quite a bit. I've lived in 17 cities in four different countries, but I'm settled now here in Los Angeles. What was your favorite of all the places that you lived? Uh, probably Tokyo, because I learned Tokyo, how to speak really? uh, Japan. Japanese. Hantoyo. Well, we are. Yeah. well, nice to have you here, Deb. Yeah, Good luck you. to you. And this is kind of interesting. Uh, George Seeley is our returning champion from three years ago. Yeah. And it's nice to see you here, George. Well, you nice waited a long back. time. I bet you never thought you'd come back, did you? <laughs> never. But here never. you are. Well, welcome back. It's nice to have you. Now, which one of you won the cross that day? You did, Deb. Okay, Deb's going to go first. And we're going to play Scrabble. We're going to play until one of these players gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble sprint, has a chance at the bonus sprint, which we'll be building as we play. Uh, take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. We're building on the letter R. There are nine letters in this word, and the clue is, and it's a long clue, so pay attention. After years of only seeing his, or after, or after years of only seeing his own, Robinson Crusoe was shocked when he saw Friday's. <laughs> All right, the rest of that word scrambled. They're controlled by the number of tiles between you. Uh, don't forget those pink and blue squares. They're worth a lot of money, okay? Deb, here we go. Do you know what it might be? I don't have a clue right now. Do you remember now, the clue? So... <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. Go ahead, take a couple of tiles. Okay. Let's go at it. All right, I'll pick uh, tile number 11. And let's try lucky number 7. Okay, you got a P and you have a T. Which would you like? Uh, let's place that P, please, Chuck. Okay. Falls right in. After years of only seeing his own, Robinson Crusoe was shocked when he saw Friday's. Footprint. That's exactly right. It is footprint. It's one and nothing. Good for you. Very nicely done. Yeah. Did you know that, George? I hadn't. Heard. Yeah, neither did I. <laughs> Okie dokie. Building on the letter O in footprint. Seven letters in the word. The clue is... Carl Sagan believes it was created in a series of billions and billions of small explosions. That's the worst Carl Sagan I have ever heard. <laughs> but it's the only one I have. So Carl. here you go, George. Okay, I'll take number three and number five. And you have an O and a P. I will take the P. First position in the word, Carl Sagan believes it was created in a series of billions and billions of small explosions. I have no guess. I'll take the O. $1,000 in the jackpot. 1000 bucks. Tell me what it is. Carl Sagan believes it was created in a series of billions and billions of small explosions. No, George? Uh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh too bad. I'll take the seven and the six. Okay, with an R and an I, which one would you like? I will take the R, please. Carl Sagan believes it was created in a series of billions and billions of small explosions. I, okay. I'll take the I. No, sir, the I is a stopper. Okay, Deb. I'm not seeing it, so let me take a couple of tiles. Let me take the nine. And number eight. Got a P and an N. Uh, let me take that N, please. Last position in the word. Carl Sagan believes it was created in millions and billions of billions. Popcorn? That's right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for getting me out of having to say that again. I was so sick of that clue, I can't tell you. Thanks, Deb. Two You're to nothing. Welcome. George going to have to jump in here. Okay. Building on the letter O in popcorn. Eight letters in the word. The clue is long time no see. Long time no see. Yep. A couple of tiles. I'll take a tile six. 
and eight. And a D and an I. I should have told you that you could answer that with the O and it would give you $1,000 in the uh, bonus spot, but uh, do you have any idea what it is? Don't have a clue. Well, okay, D and I, work with them. <laughs> um, long time, no, I'll take a D, please. First position in the word, long time, no C. And the I? Second position in the word, long time, no C. No guess, I'll take the two. And the ten. A U and an R. I'll take the R. Last position of the word. Long time no see is the blue. Dinosaur. Well, you're getting back in the game. All right. Since it's two to one, George, we're going to stay with you. So, oh, we're going to stay with both of you. Uh, it's time for speed word. That bell means that we're out of time, so we're going to play the rest of this game in speed word. Put your hands on your buzzers. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Of course, we don't give you the last letter. All right? Okay. All right. Building on the letter I in dinosaur. Five letters in the word. The clue is, it's spring-loaded. Ready? Go. It's spring-loaded. It's spring George. Oasis. That's right. It's all tied up. Two to two. Going to stay in speed word. Finish it off. Good luck to both of you. Building on the letter O in Oasis, there are seven letters in this word, and the clue is, he ruled with an iron fist. Ready? Go. He ruled with an iron fist. He ruled with an iron fist. Dead. Robocop. That's exactly right. You got it. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Well, George, thank God it. Came That's back and waited all this time. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot for playing the thank game. You. We enjoyed thank having you, you back. Had we really did. By the way, we have a parting gift for you. Charlie's going to tell you about it now. George, for you, a Bank the Box 3-inch portable LCD TV is smart, very smart, small and easy to use. You may watch it anywhere, anytime, even outdoors. Furnished by Magnavox. Well, now you can watch us on TV with that. Thanks again, George. Thank you. All righty. Well, we got a new champ. Hiya, Deb. I'm doing good uh, now. That was great. Listen, boy, I tell you, footprint killed me when you got that so early. That was terrific. A uh, $1,000 uh, in the uh, bonus jackpot, right? Yeah. Going to come back, going to play Scrabble Sprint. We'll be back to do that right after this. Stay tuned. Try to beat that time. Going to play four words, remind you to hit your plunger, because that's the only thing that will stop the okay. clock. Okay. No stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Okay. Okay, Deb. All right. First word, five letters. Some people always keep them covered. Some people always keep them covered. Ready? Ready. Go. A. F. Y. Some people always keep w. them covered. Uh, Y. Some people always keep them covered. Can't give you the last letter. Some people always keep them covered. Oh. Ten-second penalty on that yawns. Yeah, we'll have to go to an alternate may, uh, eventually. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on. Uh, second word, seven letters. He'd rather be seen than heard. He'd rather be seen than heard. Ready? Ready. Go. C. A. M. He'd rather be seen than heard. R. E. U. He'd rather be seen than heard. Marcel. Yeah, that was tough. That was tough. And the first one was tough, too. You never know when the next person comes up. Okay, next word, eight letters. The miles add up there. The miles add up there. Ready? Ready. Go. O. R. M. D. The miles add up there. Odometer. That's correct. The next word has nine letters. Okay. They have to pick up sticks. They have to pick up sticks. Ready? Ready. Oh, pardon me. That's not correct. Let me say it again. They have pick up sticks. They have pick up sticks. You got it straight? I think so. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. S. P. They have pick up sticks. P. C. They have pick up sticks. Popsicle. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Now, I said something earlier on that you had a 10-second penalty, and it wasn't a 10-second penalty because you didn't give me the wrong answer. All you did was miss the word. So we're going to move to your alternate now, okay? Five letters in this last word. It can make people hear voices. 
It can make people hear voices. Ready? Ready. Go. R. A. O. Radio. That's right. 49 seconds. Well, I mean, you know, Dad, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? If Yons comes up the way it did the last time, maybe the next person won't get it, and they'll have to go to an alternative and uh, or an alternate word, and you might get it. Anyway, 49 seconds. That's the time to beat. Challenger's going to find uh, find out how tough that is right after this. We'll be back. Hey. Below the waist. See Dick laugh. <laughs> laugh with Dick. Categories weekdays on NBC Daytime. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Lorre. All right, standing here with Deb Howard, who is our champ, and she's ready to face one of these two folks. Charlie? She's a store manager. He's an art teacher. From Galveston, Texas, Monique Littlejohn. And from Manhattan Beach, California, Sam Yuskovich. Well, it's nice to have you both with us. How are you, Monique? Fine, thank you, Chuck. Yeah, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm now a store manager in Santa Barbara, California, but I moved out to California for surfing. Good luck to you. Hi, Sam. Hi, Chuck. Tell me about yourself, Sam. Yes, I'm, I'm a high school teacher in Los Angeles. I, this year I celebrate my 33rd year of marriage to the same lovely lady and my 32nd year in high school. That's a long puberty. Boy, it certainly is. Yeah, nice to have you here, Sam. Who won the tossback stage? I did, Chuck. Going to start with you. Here we go. All right, building on the letter N. There are nine letters in this word, and the clue is stay away from them or, you're, or they'll fry your brain. Stay away from them or they'll fry your brain. I have no idea, so I'm going to go for number three and tile number four, please. N or an A? Uh, I'll take the A, please. Stay away from them or they'll fry your brain. Uh, I have no idea. I'm going to go with the letter N, please. Two N. I still don't know where we're going, so I'm going to go for number five and for number six. C or an M. Okay, give me the M, please. No, sir. That's a stopper. All right, Monique, you got a chance at this. Stay away from them or they'll fry your brain. No guess, Chuck. I'll have to take the two. C or an A? I'll take the A, please. Yep, that falls in. I'll have to take the C. First position in the word. Stay away from them or they'll fry your brain. No guess. I'll no have guess. To take two more tiles. Two stoppers still out with an 11, 11 which is a and B. a 1. And a U. I'll take that B, please. Stay away from them or they'll fry your brain. Cannibal. That's right. Better nothing. A little tough to come up with the answer these days. Okay, <laughs> Sam. Building on the letter A in cannibal, seven letters in the word. The clue is few people are in the market for it. Okay, I have no idea on that. I'm going to go for number three. And let's try number four. I or a P. All right. Chuck, let's place that P. Two people are in the market for it. Okay, I still don't know. Let, let's place the I. The, the clue again, please. A uh, few people are in the market for it. Hmm, still got me. I'm going to take two more. I'm going to try number five and number one. R or another P. Okay, Chuck, let's try that R. Still don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to go with the letter P. Last position in the word. Few people are in the market for it, Sam. I still don't know. I'm going to have to go with two more letters. <laughs> You're going to go with a block, Sam. <laughs> I got a six. I'm going to take a six, and I'm going to take a two. Another P and an S. Okay. Um, give me the letter S, please. Few people are in the market for it. Okay. I'm going to give her a try at parsnip. That's exactly right. Boy, that was a tough one. That went all the way to the end. Monique did not get a break on it. Going to go back to you, Monique. Uh, Bell means that we're out of time. We're going to play this uh, last few words in speed word. Hands on your buzzers. Uh, we'll let the letters drop in one at a time. When you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Building on the letter I and parsnip. Eight letters in the word. The clue is, he's always saying, now, where are we? Ready? Go. Now, where are we? That's what he's always saying. Now... Money. Amnesia. Yes, for $1,000, I do believe.
Okay, that thousand dollars goes in our bonus uh, jackpot, and uh, the bonus jackpot is now worth two thousand dollars. The winner of the bonus sprint gets to play for that at the end of the day. Here we go. It is two to one. Monique's going for the game. Sam's trying to tie it up. We're building on the letter M and amnesiac. Five letters in the word, and the clue is a place where you can take a rest. Ready? Go. A place where you can take a rest. A place where you can... Sam. A comma. Uh, yes. That's right. Comma. Yes. Yes. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why coma came to my mind. <laughs> I personally am in a coma. I don't know about you, Sam. Okay. It's all tied up. Anybody's game building on the letter A and comma. Five letters in the word. The clue is some women like to have theirs tickled. <laughs> Ready? Go. Some women like to have theirs tickled. Sam. Fancy. Yes, for another $500. Yes, sir. All right. Well. Let me walk in front of you, Sam, and uh, thank Monique for being with us. And uh, we got the, uh, little, what is that thing we have here? We have that uh, television for it, don't we? That's it? Yeah, the TV. The TV. I hope you enjoy that. Thanks, Monique. Thank and you very much. Good luck up there in Santa Barbara. And, uh, boy, I'm telling you, Sam came through. 500 bucks, 2,500, the bonus jackpot. And we're going to come back and play Scrabble Spend right after this. Stay with us. <laughs> Coma. Back to Scrabble and Chuck Lowry. Thank you, Charlie. Deb Howard is our champion. She has $500. She established a time of 49 seconds. Uh, Sam Yuskovich is our challenger. He has uh, $500. This is played for $1,000. A chance of the bonus sprint for $2,500. Going to play the same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. There are no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Good luck, Sam. Thank you. First word, five letters. Some people always keep them covered. Ready? Go. Y. N. Some people always keep them covered. W. S. Yon. That's correct. Got it right on the buzzer. Got to give it to him. Yep. Okay. Second word, seven letters. He'd rather be seen than heard. Ready? Ready, Sam? I'm ready. <laughs> you scared me there for a minute. I thought you made it passed away on me. Okay. He'd rather be seen than heard. Ready? Ready. Go. R. A. A. He'd rather be seen than heard. C. M. E. He'd rather be seen than heard. My soul. Yes, on the buzzer again. <laughs> All right. Third word, eight letters. The miles add up there. All right. Ready? Yes. Go. R. M. O. The miles add up there. E. T. D. Odometer. That's correct. The last word, you have 10 seconds, 10.9 seconds, I should say. It's the last word. They have pickup sticks. Ready? Ready. Go. C. P. They have pickup sticks. L. F. E. They have pickup sticks. I. Oh, sorry, Sam. Boy, I'm telling you, by the skin of your teeth, by the skin of your teeth, you got by that. Sam, thank you. 500 to you. Uh, Deb has 1,500. She's got a chance for 2,500 bonus. We'll be back. We're doing right after this. Woo, that was really close. Uh, our new champion on our new show for the new season. She's got $1,500. This bonus is for 2,500. Two words under 10 seconds. Okay? Good luck. I'll help you as much as I can. Okay. First word, six letters. Most of them are sitting pretty. Most of them are sitting pretty. Ready? Yep. Go. D. F. Most of them are sitting pretty. L. M. Most of them are sitting pretty. Model. That's right, 2.5 seconds left. Let's see how you do. Ooh, you might be able to get this off the flute. If not, you'll be real close. Okay. 
seven letters, bacon bits. Bacon bits. Ready? I give it a go. Go. G. No, you hit your buzzer. You got to tell me what it is. <laughs> Yeah, you can't. It's too late. Too late. Yeah, it's all gone. It was piglets. It was piglets. Yeah. Oh, it's okay, David. How does that happen? We're going to come back tomorrow. Bonus be even higher. That's all the time we got for today. Bye-bye, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the following companies have paid a fee for product promotion. Paracetin, for use at the first sign of a cold or flu. It'll relieve all your major symptoms fast and help keep them from getting worse. The look of granite feel of stone ease of spray paint. Plastic Coat Flexstone puts color and texture at your fingertips. Trust Smith Brothers, a tradition since 1847 to soothe sore throats. Smith Brothers, available in bags, boxes, and rolls. Some members of our studio audience will receive DeLonghi's fine quality espresso cappuccino maker. Stylish Italian design, automatically controls proper balance, and it's easy to use, a coffee lover's delight. Furnished by DeLonghi. Thank you.